Okay, since I didn't have a compressor or an impact gun, I had to go to the shop to get this bad boy off of here. Okay, that's holding the crankshaft pulley in. Um, I tried doing it myself, I broke a ratchet, um, and uh, it was pretty much a waste of time. I even tried an electric impact wrench and it didn't have enough torque to pop that. So anyways, um, I'm putting the timing, the, uh, the timing belt cover, the outer cover on, to, uh, to make sure that the crankshaft pulley is, uh, and the crankshaft is in uh, top dead center position. Now, see that line there? Okay, I added a white line with, um, with white out just to make it easier to see when I'm turning. Okay, so hold on in place while you're adjusting. Focus. There we go. Okay, there we are. Now I'm going to remove the timing belt cover and we're going to check the other two timing marks on the uh, camshaft and the uh, oil pump. Okay, there's the diamond on top, the diamond on the bottom. Okay, the diamond, on, the black diamond there on the on the inner uh, timing belt cover, matching up with the diamond on the oil pump pulley. Uh, uh, okay. Now right here. You got a triangle, with a triangle, and two little dots I made with uh, white out to make it easier to locate. I'm trying to find the markings because the ones on the uh, on the gears are kind of difficult to find, especially when they're all greasy and dirty. I had to clean them up a bit. So, anyways, you got your three timing marks lined up. I uh, used um, 17 millimeter bolt bolt for this, and I believe it was a half inch socket for this. Just loosen this one up a little bit, and then. Um, loosen this up and then uh, there's a special tool that you use to turn this but uh, what I did is I just loosened both bolts and pushed on this pried on this with um, you know with like the back part of a ratchet and it popped popped out you know so then I tightened that bolt so now there's no tension so that way you can slide in your timing belt okay I'm gonna make a correction um, the timing belt uh, just uh, tensioner pulley um, I actually had uh, adjusted it the, the wrong way since I'd already removed the old timing belt. Um, the tension is actually <clears throat> the bolt should be set all the way to the right, and that's um, that's no tension at all. Um, so that when you wrap the belt around, you're gonna loosen that, and then that's gonna pop that way and then give you tension. Okay, so. Uh, and uh, you know you adjust that tension to a certain torque uh, that your vehicle um, recommends. So, anyways, um, let's get back to doing it. Okay, so when you get this bad boy out, this pulley it's not going to come off this easily. <laughs> but uh, actually, the guy in the shop uh, banged it out. You know, with a long screwdriver and a hammer, of course, delicately not to um, not to ruin the pulley. And uh, you can use a pulley puller. You know, he was in a hurry. He hooked me up. You know. So there you go. That is where the timing belt is going to go into. That's the bottom part of the gear down the crankshaft pulley. Okay. That's where we're going to start. To install the um, the new timing belt, and uh, what you're gonna do is got your marks lined up. You're gonna just set set your timing belt in the bottom, and then you're gonna work your way to the oil pump and over to the camshaft. In that direction, you set your teeth that way, and you you want you don't want to have any slack. Make sure these wheels don't turn. And because uh, you're up, if you're off even by one, two, then uh, your timing will be off. 
and uh, you know, cut two or three teeth, and your car may not even start. So I'm gonna do this, and uh, I'll be back. Uh, hopefully, I'll get it installed right the first time. Okay, before you release um, the bolt on your tensioner pulley, make sure that your teeth are all set in the middle of uh, the gears, right in the center. Okay, make sure there's no slack from the crankshaft to the uh, oil pump, no slack here. This is how you're gonna run it, from under here, you're gonna go this way. Make sure there's no slack from here to here. Make sure there's no slack from here to here. By turning the pulley, turning the oil pulley, like this, you see there's no slack, okay? Um, make sure your teeth are all in, and your timing marks are aligned, okay? And uh, that's all set. You uh, put the tension back on your pulley, and Cross your fingers. Okay, the first time I tried, when I released the uh, tensioner, um, I was off by one tooth, there was too much slack here. So it threw my timing off and moved these timing marks over one notch or one, uh, you know, one sprocket length on uh, these two. So I released the tension again, and uh, I jumped over that one. I jumped over one more tooth and eliminated the slack here between the um, crankshaft sprocket and the oil uh, oil pump sprocket there. And this time, when I release, hopefully we'll be still in good time. step. We're going to start uh, reassembling this. Uh, I'm not going to show you that on this tutorial because it's been long enough, but once you get the timing belt properly um, seated, what you're going to want to do is um, spin, you know, spin the crankshaft once you get the pulley back on and go through a few rotations and make sure you don't hear anything clinging or banging. You know, because if you are off timing and you try to rotate the engine, if you try to start the engine after putting it together, you can, you know, you mess up a lot of stuff internally. Um, so you want to go ahead and turn it by hands, a few revolutions, and uh, make sure there's nothing, you know, there's no resistance. It could be, you know, maybe a piston hitting up against a, uh, you know, valve cover or something, uh, you know. So um, you really make sure that... Uh, It'll turn freely for about two, three, four, five revolutions with no hesitations, no problems before you attempt to crank the engines. And uh, that was how you install a timing belt in a 1996 Ford Ranger 2.3 liter four cylinder engine.